Well, we've been seeing spotted lanternflies here in Maryland for about seven years now, since 2018. Now, I'm sure you know by now they're an invasive species. They can harm trees and crops, especially grapes. Ashley Paul shares what experts say they are doing to lower their numbers and how you can get involved. The Maryland Department of Agriculture has its own program to tackle the problem of spotted lanternflies. They work with other organizations to help provide treatment and reduce spread, and that does include insecticides. We did conduct uh, systemic treatment a few weeks ago now, um, and obviously it is working. However, the systemic treatment lives inside the tree, and the department is very strict about using it. It's a really harsh chemical product that Maryland citizens cannot purchase. So what can you do? You can stomp on them, but that probably won't help. If it makes you feel better, retribution, well, sure, go ahead and squash as many as you like if you like to. But please understand that that's not what drives the rise and fall of spotted lanternfly populations. It will help if you get rid of any tree of heaven on your property, as it's their preferred host and it's invasive itself. Or a lot of times I will go with a uh, like little putty knife or even something like an old credit card, if you can scrape that egg mass away, then that's actually taking care of 30 or 40 spotted lantern flies for next year. You can also make your own traps. A car is with the city's rec and parks department. She says circle traps are successful and cheap. So they'll just kind of start making their way up and the screening funnels them up into your milk jug lids and then into a Ziploc baggie, or you could use a jar, basically anything that you can fit over the top that's going to collect them where they come in. Ed Boyce, one of the owners of Black Ankle Vineyards in Mount Airy, says the bugs are still a problem, but they remain optimistic. Just know that we're all, we're all trying to deal with it as best we can and uh, you know, help, help us by buying local. Ashley, thank you. Well, because of federal spending cuts, the spotted lanternfly team at the Maryland Department of Agriculture was cut in half. To help with their research, you can report the spotted lanternflies on the department's website. While they hope to help reduce the number over the next few years, it's unlikely the species will be wiped out completely. To learn more about spotted lanternflies, including how to make your own circle trap, visit our website. That's WJZ.com. It's only they'd stop flying into me. I know. And they're not very good. They're just all over.